It is a really fun event if you have the chance to attend one or just a couple of days to see the yeah. planes and also see and the we, aircraft carriers. We didn't put any sound on the Blue Angels, <laughs> Blue Angels. because you'll get plenty of that later in the week. Oh, yes. If you're mm -hmm. in the city, you will hear them. You yeah. can't miss them. There. Yes. You, you might not Thursday and Friday because visibilities are going to be pretty low. There's going to be a lot of cloud cover, so you might not hear that sound overhead for a couple of days because the whole weather pattern's kind of shifting around. The warm weather pattern we've been in for the past several days is breaking down. This storm system headed for the Pacific Northwest isn't going to send any moisture towards us, unfortunately, but it is going to send some additional cloud cover. It's going to help to kick up the onshore winds. The marine layer is going to be significantly deeper, and our temperatures are going to be significantly cooler. Air quality is also going to improve as that onshore shore breeze kicks in. We talked about the air quality forecast during our first segment. I want to show you the future cast simulation of just ground level smoke. That's what we have to worry about when we're breathing. Most of that ground level smoke is going to be out of here by tomorrow afternoon. I still think we're going to start the day in the moderate category for inland parts of the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley, but by tomorrow afternoon and evening, that smoke is gone and it's going to stay gone Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and likely into the weekend as well. Looking outside right now, well, there's the fog trying to creep in from the Pacific. It is a very shallow layer of fog, but it's going to spread inside the bay and into some of the inland valleys by tomorrow morning. Temperature downtown is down to the 60s, 70s Oakland, but farther inland temperatures are still in the 80s. For now, we are not going to be nearly as warm starting tomorrow. No problems with the temperatures for our pets for this evening's walking forecast. It's World Pet Day, so we're expanding from the dog walking forecast to include our feline friends, Autumn and Harvest, here. Temperatures in San Francisco are in the 60s right now, so no issues there if you want to get out for a walk. But farther inland, where temperatures are still in the 80s, put that off until after the sun goes down so your puppy's paws don't get burned or your, feet, your kitty's paws don't get burned either. Visibilities are going to drop around the bay and into the inland valleys tomorrow morning, but that fog is going to dissipate pretty quickly. Some passing clouds overhead are going to be with us throughout the day, not blocking the sun, but filtering it out. And that's one of the reasons, along with that stronger onshore wind, the temperatures aren't going to warm up nearly as fast. By noon, still short of 60 degrees in San Francisco. The warmest spots will just be in the 70s by lunchtime, but they Time highs tomorrow, 60s around the bay, mostly 70s inland with just the very warmest spots, barely getting above 80 degrees during the afternoon. And we're going to be even cooler than that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Just a little more of a warm up as we head into the weekend. Looks actually really nice, both Saturday and Sunday. I think Sunday will be the sunnier and warmer half of the weekend for everybody across the Bay Area. But even the warmest spots will only top out around 80 degrees on Sunday before we cool off again early next week. We'll zoom in for a closer look at tomorrow's high temperatures coming up at 7. Sounds good. Thank you, Paul.